it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for whenever it resonates. We're just going to see what comes up. The timing is fluid. What do we got? Usually these resonate within a few days. What do we have for a message today? This is Archangel Raphael. And this is Archangel Gabriel. I have more. Ooh, wow, we all know what the Ace of Pentacles in reversed is. It's a loss. Loss of stability, loss of security, a loss of something. You can't hold on to it anymore. It's slipping away. There's no stability. It's not practical. It's not realistic. Mm, unfinished business. This is no goodbye, lack of closure. Now, the hermit is a time of introspection, a time of reflection, a need to go within, a time out. It's, this is uh, ruled by Virgo. It's a time for analysis, to analyze the situation. But this is not, somebody didn't learn their lesson. They probably weren't being practical or they weren't being real. conflict and competition. Somebody was competing. They were too focused on the competition, too focused on playing the game. Hmm. Let's go back over. We're staying over on this side. Ooh. Ooh. Something is going to be revealed. With the moon reverse, there's going to be a reveal. Some secret or lie or situation is about to be revealed. Something has been hidden. Whatever has been hidden is about to be shown. The shadow is going away. So the light is going to be shown on a situation. Could have to do with uh, lovers, you know. If somebody has been cheating, they're probably going to get caught because this is getting caught. If somebody has had their eye on somebody else, you know, maybe they're going to go in that direction. There's definitely a competition here. Some sort of competition, a conflict. This is a choice. Somebody is going to be making a choice, making a decision between two. Okay. This is a time of reflection and analysis. Somebody has analyzed it because it looks like this person is coming out. They're, they're, they're coming out. They're, they're shining the light. There's the light. Okay, they're shining the light on a situation. The light is being shown. Hmm. Now, this is also a card of consequences. The lovers is a card of consequences. Somebody may be suffering some sort of consequences for acting, you know... Impulsively, I'm not sure if it's impulsive, but the Five of Wands can be impulsive. This is a player. Somebody was playing games, thinking that they could hide it, but they can't. Now they're going to be presented with some sort of choice. This is a decision. It is. Ooh, we have abandonment here and neglect. Five of Pentacles. We have somebody here that is very insecure. Hmm. Stubborn. Obsessed. 
obsessed with holding on to something, obsessed with holding on to stability, but... And now the Five of Pentacles is leaving something behind. Abandonment. Neglect. Somebody neglected their partner. Or neglected somebody. Now the lovers doesn't have to be actual sexual partners. It's two people. There's neglect of a relationship. Put it that way. But somebody has been wanting to hold on to it. Maybe because of the competition part of it. Portion of it. Thrive. Somebody may be thriving on competition. That's the only reason why they want to hold on. But, but there is some sort of abuse. This is abuse. The King of Swords in reversed is abuse. We have abusive an abusive individual here that is cold and uncaring and hard. Male or female. This person is obsessed. Obsessed with something. Obsessed with winning. Ooh, but there is some sort of change that is coming. This person is definitely a player. We have two player cards right here. We have a player here, somebody that loves to play games, loves competition, always tries to do too much. This person is very skilled. They're skilled at playing games. They're skilled at whatever they do, whatever they do. But this is abandonment. There's abandonment, neglect. Victim mentality here. Maybe they thrive on that kind of energy. We have somebody here that is trying to do too much. It's like they're trying to... Their, their need to compete. Very highly competitive individual here. I don't know why. Why they're so competitive. They're really overdoing it. Somebody is overdoing it. There is some sort of abuse, whether it's mental, physical, verbal, whatever. There's some sort of neglect, whatever there is. Now there's a decision that is being made because the lovers is a decision. There is something that is being revealed that is probably forcing somebody to make a decision. Which way to go? Which is the best option here? You can't have both. Which is the best option? Somebody's going to get abandoned or they have been abandoned. A light is, we have a very wise individual here that has analyzed a situation and they, I think this is the person that is revealing. This person is showing something about abuse. What is this? Oh, a need to heal, a need to need for recovery. There's a healing period that is needed. It's time to come out of this painful situation. It's heartbreaking. It's time to heal from this abuse. Justice. So this is uh, making a, a decision, the right decision, doing the right thing. This is an elder or somebody that is very wise. Somebody that has life experience, somebody that uh, is consciously aware of a situation. Con this person knows, very much awakened. We have an awakened individual here that knows that knows what they need to do because this is the right decision to bring balance back to a situation they have to leave these past hurts behind it's time for healing this is this could be the law stepping in with the justice card sorry i didn't focus that so the law could be stepping in somebody could be going to court but this is a final decision this is also karma playing out Somebody, like I said, didn't learn their lesson or their, you know, because this is karmic 
lesson, but this lesson hasn't been learned. Therefore, they're going to experience a loss. Maybe this loss is what is actually going to wake them up. That's going a different route, I know. But there's going to be the first card. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles reverse is a loss. Somebody is going to lose something. You can't hold on to it. You can't hold on to it. If it's that painful, if it's abuse, there's some sort of abuse here. And somebody, and this is a decision, decision, decision. Somebody is making a decision between two people, which is the best option here. So there's going to be a choice that is made. Okay. Um, now it's time to leave these past hurts behind and it's time for healing. And this person is a healer. So somebody may be going to a healer to heal from their past hurts. Now, but the world reversed is an ending without closure, an ending without saying goodbye. So something could be ending without the proper closure. Something could be leaving. Okay. The justice is a card of integrity. It's, it's about bringing balance back to a situation. It's making that the right choice, doing the right thing, acting with uh, integrity, doing what is fair, doing what is right to help somebody heal. Somebody is going to be making a decision. May have something to do with a child. I don't know, but we got a page here, which is the page of cups. The page of cups reversed is um, an unrequited love situation. Perhaps somebody may be in a loveless situation where they're not getting the reciprocation that they deserve, or they're not getting the love that they deserve, or they're not getting the emotional support that they deserve. The page of cups reversed. Somebody may have their heart set on somebody that is literally unavailable and they are obsessed with them. Maybe there's a child involved that is being hurt by this whole situation. We do have obsession here. We do. Um, it's time to leave the pa it's time to leave the past hurts behind. Okay. We have somebody here that is very cold. Um, this cold individual is somehow involved in this decision. This person is the one that is obsessed. But we have a, a very wise individual here that can see the whole thing. This person has life experience behind their back. They're not somebody that you can uh, pretend to. This person uh, is a very observant of their surroundings and what is going on uh, all around them. So... Anyway, the Page of Cups reversed is a need to... There's a lack of growth here. Somebody may have a self-image problem. Okay, they may be too focused on their image. There could be a child that is not growing the way they are supposed to with the Page of Cups reversed. They're not being emotionally supported. They're not being taken care of emotionally. They're not getting the love that they deserve. Something like that. We definitely have somebody here that is playing games. Okay, we have a player here. Um, there is going to be some sort of karma, some sort of decision that is made to leave this unrequited love situation behind. Something to do with stability and security. The King of Pentacles is an energy of stable, solid, secure, a hard worker, somebody that is very mature, has uh, plenty of substance this person uh, may have their own business definitely is very dominant and mature and stable a decision is being made in somebody's favor this person is whoever this person is and it could be any sign or any gender, this person is very stable, very solid, very secure, hard worker, um, doesn't quit, doesn't give up, very loyal, very family oriented, puts his family or her, his or, he, his or her family first. But we do have somebody that has been abusing their power. The Hierophant reversed. The Hierophant reversed is 
uh, somebody has been having a hard time doing the right thing under a lot of social pressure. Somebody has been being controlled by a father figure, and there could be some sort of disgrace. There we have somebody here that is not very spiritually spiritual that has probably made a wrong decision and they are going to suffer some sort of karmic consequences for engaging in something impulsively instead of thinking before they act. There's probably also a relationship that isn't on the same page and that's why somebody is seeking elsewhere because I feel like we do have somebody here that is seeking elsewhere. I feel, somebody, some of you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Leo. We have Pisces. Uh, we have Libra. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Virgo. Um, everybody is here. Um, a decision is being made to leave this pain behind. And start the healing process with somebody, you know, to regain stability, to regain stability. In, I know I just said that. In security. The world is leaving without saying goodbye. It's the, and something ends with no closure. There's no closure. There's something is going away. It's slipping away. And there's not going to be any type of closure. Okay? But it's time to leave this pain behind. It's time for somebody to uh, make the final decision. So the final decision is being made in regards to doing what is right. These are both cards of integrity. There's a lack of love. There's a lack of emotional fulfillment. There's a lack of growth. There's no reciprocation. And in order to get what you deserve, you have to leave that painful situation behind where there's no love. So I think there's going to be a decision made to abandon ship with somebody that was untrue. Okay? It's like the truth is coming out. There could, this is the end of a commitment or the end of a marriage. We have a relationship that's not on the same page. And somebody uh, in a relationship can be with anybody. It can be with mother and child. It can be with father and child. It can be with mother and father. It could be with husband and wife. It could be boyfriend, girlfriend, boyfriend, boyfriend, girlfriend, girlfriend, best friends. There's a relationship that is not on the same page. <coughs> And it seems like somebody is going their own way. It's time out. It's time for a time out. It's time for, to reflect. It's time to, you know, go my own way and let this go. I don't want to save it. It's not savable here. It's time to go someplace else. I mean, there is a loss here. Somebody is losing something and they're going their own way. And it's like there's no goodbye. There is no goodbye. And I think what this is, because this is a karmic lesson. It really is. There's a karmic lesson about nobility, about doing the right thing, about uh, integrity. All right? So somebody didn't act with integrity, and now they're going to experience some sort of loss. There's definitely somebody is going to make a choice. And somebody is going to get abandoned. This is abandonment. Or they have been abandoned. Somebody is abandoning ship. And they can't have both. They got this like choosing one or the other. So a choice is being made. I mean, that's what I see. Somebody is going to need to take time to heal. To bring balance back to their selves. To regain stability and security. They may not want to focus on finding another relationship or finding another love. Because they need time to heal. This is a time of healing. That's what I see. Good luck.